Looking around, Fu Hua saw a rather ordinary-looking screen on the table. At first glance, it seemed no different from the various devices within the Ark. However, upon closer explanation, she immediately noticed something unusual. The screen it has a slight different style from the other ones on the Ark. She reached out and gently tapped the surface. The material also feels different. What is it made of? Her gaze shifted downwards, and she spotted an inconspicuous symbol in the corner of the screen. The symbol isn't that. Almost done investigating. I should see what the others have discovered. What are you up to, Red? What are you holding? A book. Red, I didn't know you liked to read. What's the big deal? Do you have to act so surprised? Of course I'm surprised. I don't remember you ever reading books. Even if we put together memories from all those cycles, we could probably count all the occasions when you actually read a book on one hand. Well, this is different. We're helping Fu Hua and Grace to find clues, aren't we? So we must put all our effort into this. We can't leave room for carelessness. Is that so? Also, these books are way more interesting than Grace's thick rule book or Purple's long poems in celebration. What kind of books are they? Righteous Vita turned the books over in her hand and showed them to Voracious Vita. The turtles and the hare, the wolf and the lamb, and the boy who cried wolf. Are these books about animal species? No, read them, then you'll understand. Don't drag me into this. What could it be, though? Purple green, check this out. There's a plant here that hasn't withered after thousands of years. I think it's fake. Well, yeah, but the person who made this must have been quite romantic. Is it made of some kind of fabric? It's really interesting. How come you aren't curious, Purple? Me? She's still thinking about the previous question, Blue. You're distracting her. Oh, sorry. But I'm starting to have a similar feeling. This place feels familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on my why. What do you think, Blue? We just regained memories from other cycles and lost the last one. Could this be messing with our perception? I'm not sure. The principles of how thought processes and memories are structured are way too complex. Maybe while discussing this, we can draw some inspiration from that plant over there. I can describe the shape, color, and characteristic of this artificial plant quite well, but I can't trace its manufacturing details. 
Let alone who made it. If memories have similar properties, what are you talking about, Blue? I'm just speculating. It's not really helping with the current situation, though. Nothing. Are you fine? Right? Right? You look a bit off. Are you feeling faint? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. The last time I was here was before arriving at this planet. If only I could remember what happened back then. It's perfectly normal not to remember something that happened so long ago, Grisio. Cut yourself some slack. No, my and Hua's body are different from regular people's. We can naturally retain memories for longer, but we may not remember every single detail. There's no way we can forget certain situations from tens of thousands of years ago, but weirdly, my memory of when I came close to Sa. It's probably not just about the passage of time. Maybe Sa distorted our perception somehow, or used some kind of mental attack on me. Or perhaps it was simply the blow to my head that resulted in memory loss. That, that sounds brutal. Grisio, you were attacked in your room before, and now that you've finally come back, you're forcing yourself to remember that experience. It must be really tough on you. Maybe you should take a break, just like before. Find a cherished spot, sit for a while, feel that familiar potted plant, and embrace your beloved pillow. That might gently coax your memories back without putting too much pressure on yourself. I'm fine. I've never had a habit of relying on potted plants and pillows. Wait, happened. What's wrong, Grisio? Well, according to my habit, if I were faced with an unknown and powerful enemy, the first thing I'd turn to would be my abilities. A few moments later. Everyone has thoroughly finished investigating, right? Good job! Well, everyone apart from Vita has finished searching through everything. Yeah, Lao, you haven't changed a bit. You never show any mercy to even me. I can't help it. If this candy could grow hands and feet, I definitely wouldn't just stand here while you're all busy. That sounds creepy. Time is of the essence. Let's coordinate our findings now. Let me start first. Thanks to Orange, I finally remembered something. People tend to have relatively fixed subconscious reactions when accidents happen. 
Even though my memory is blurry, I might be able to reconstruct what happened at that time by imagining what I do according to my habits. During my extended interstellar journey, I recorded numerous experiences and insights in the form of colors, as my unique ability allows me to perceive the true colors of things. Likewise, when faced with unexpected danger, my natural instinct was to identify the colors of that danger. So when I was attacked by Saw, I probably instinctively perceived the colors of the force attacking me and tried to record it. So could that be what a, the painting board I found represents? Exactly, because it was an emergency. I didn't even have the time to lay out a new canvas. I just managed to finish recording the colors when I was struck by some external force. So this messy cluster of color is Saw's colors. It looks really chaotic. Yes, because this is actually an incomplete color record. If I could clearly depict Saw's colors, it would mean I completely understood their nature, and things wouldn't be like they are today. This record is just my feeling of the colors I perceived in that moment of peril, and a rough sketch of the first expression I had when Saad attacked me. I couldn't fathom what lay beneath that first impression, and it's the same situation right now. So, does that mean the lead ends here? No, this color record, the faint shadow that emerged just now in the sky is part of Saw's body. Moriarty mentioned this as well. There is a chance we can gather information about Saw by observing those body parts. So I focus on Moriarty and observe the moment he touched the light pillar. Did you notice anything? Unfortunately, Moriarty's hollow projection was too fragile, and the connection with Sa was very brief. I couldn't analyze much of it. But even so, the color from back then was very similar to this color. However, these two colors, although very similar, also have some subtle differences. But I can't pinpoint exactly what those differences are. Well, it's been a long time, so the creator may have slightly altered her appearance. Let's talk about our findings. It's a deja vu. According to Fosworth's rules, we didn't have any chance to enter the Ark before, but somehow everyone finds it familiar here. Yeah, it's like we've seen it somewhere. Maybe I know why. Your familiarity with this room is most likely because at the beginning of every cycle, you were born here. We, we were born in the Forbidden Ground. Right, the Ark is the only place not affected by the Flood, and naturally, it's the only sanctuary where we can reset. But can you provide more specific evidence to support your theory, Fuhua? Blue. Of course, it's related to the, your sister, this older Vita. Me again? Yep, because you're clearly still not willing to share information. Check this out. Fuhua led everyone to the table and showed them the unusual screen. Something's not right about it. Its mode has been altered since I piloted the Ark. Yeah, someone modified the system here after you fell into a deep sleep to give it new functions. And the one behind all this. Following Fuhua's fingers, 
Everyone looked at the small peacock green feather-shaped logo under the screen. This is your symbol, isn't it, Vita? Bastard. Or rather, it's a mark you intentionally left behind. Also, this room is obviously being cleaned regularly, which is why it's so tidy even after thousands of years. Well, no one wants the workplace to be dusty, right? You've also seen Greece's story book here. You shouldn't have any knowledge of our civilization stories. Yeah, you managed to alter them and recount a twisted version. Well, I had quite a bit of time to kill while waiting for the reset, and this explains why you knew Grisio so well from the beginning. If you're using someone's bedroom, then you should at least get familiar with the owner. It's a bit rude, otherwise, isn't it? And just like before, you didn't offer any direct clue nor conceal anything. It almost feels like you wanted us to stumble upon it. So why didn't you tell us right from the beginning? I was just playing a little game with you, Fu Hua, the great detective. What's wrong with that? Is she truly evil, or is there something preventing her from voicing the truth? It appears we cannot uncover the answer right now. Well, although the little game's purpose is still a mystery, I can tell you that each time the old cycle ends and new one begins, Vitas are reawakened here. And poor little me has to rescue everyone from the ruins, clean them up, and reset their memories. It's a really tough job. Otherwise, everyone would be floundering in water. So it was you who implanted our rules and led us back to phosphorus. Yep, and you were especially obedient, green, always the quickest to understand. Orange was great too. You held on to red one time. Did the creator you all mentioned order you to do this? Well, were there experiments after all? Vita shrugged and chuckled bitterly, then suddenly glanced at Fu Hua. So the Ark is truly the birthplace of the Vitas. However, this is unlikely to be related to the Creator's weakness. Such trivial affairs always fall on my poor little head. Even if you were to delve deeper into the research, you would only trace it back to me. Also, Vita, just like babies, never keep the memories each time they're born through me. Even if I were to recount it, it wouldn't trigger any recollection. You're wrong. Although we still can remember any of the experience even after hearing it from you, we do have a sense of deja vu. So does that mean that deep down in our subconsciousness, we can still perceive something? That's right. Should we search the ark again with a sense of deja vu? We may discover something we didn't notice before. But. That's a good idea. Then I'm counting on everyone. I'll place my trust in you, Vitas. But remember not to wander too far. And if you encounter any enemies, don't act recklessly. Report back to us as soon as possible. You have my words. We'll definitely complete the task. Led by Red, the Vitas left the bedroom and went to explore other areas of the Ark. Meanwhile. Okay, Vita. Care to share a few things now? 
You make me sound like a stubborn naughty girl. All right, all right. I'll stop teasing you. You help me divert the vitas, so I should help you resolve your doubt. Consider it a mutual courtesy. Let me guess. Your question is about color, right? Go ahead, Grisio. Well, I just compared the colors on the painting board with the colors on the light pillar when it developed Moriarty. Although both of these colors are very chaotic and profound, relatively speaking, Sa has become pure now. Something essential has been drawn out of the Creator over these millennia. The extracted colors, were there exactly seven of them by any chance? Well, there are more than seven. Where are you getting at, Fu Hua? Here, can you see it? Fu Hua gestured for Grisio to check the paints off the rack. Red, orange, yellow, green, slime, blue, and purple. This isn't your Euro method of painting, right? Yeah, I don't normally do that. Putting these seven colors in this order don't make much sense. Especially considering there are only three primary colors, arranging these seven hues together isn't a practice typical of artists, but more akin to scientists. To be more precise, it's a habit of scientists living in the space whose eyes happen to have three types of cone cells. For us, sunlight is composed of seven colors. You notice know everything as always, Fu Hua. Yes, the creator and I were inspired by it here to create seven Vitas. But how did you work it out? Those paints don't seem like evidence. I couldn't help but think there mere must be starting point for everything. You mentioned your role for retrieving the betas, but what about the first time? It appeared before the major flood, right? You deliberately avoided discussing that, so there must be something. As you look at the light pillar, it's quite challenging to imagine what the crater might have been in the past. The crater had moments when they were just like us, although even for me, that's already a bygone era long ago. The crater engaged in a journey of self-improvement, amassing vast energy and shedding superfluous structures. For the Vita, they emerge as a byproduct of the creator's body as they optimize themselves. Describing it purely as an objective process might not be accurate, and I'm not sure there are other attentions. Byproduct. Yes, and you, Grisio, are the one who inspired them. Once a creature captured the arc and you, they became aware of your color analysis ability, decipher the essence of things. They began to contemplate whether they could similarly dissect abstract concepts such as emotions and morality. While the motion may have crossed their mind before, you gave them the specifics. The creator formally relinquished their repugnant virtues and left the rest to me. The creator mechanically fragmented their virtues and granted these colors authorities, then asked me to shape them into puppets governing the city. Aesthetics remain a crucial aspect, right? Thus, I classify these authorities into red to purple, giving them an endearing form as you see today. You don't want the Vitas to know, because I'm not really worried about anything, it's more like a sense of shyness. 
something like explaining the details of how baby come into existence. The inspiration came from Grisio, while the art came from me. So Vita could be considered our creation. Now that we know the origin of Vita's. Vita insists it doesn't have to do with Sa's weakness. I feel we overlook something. <laughs>